Hey, Jessica, and guess what? This one is for you today, because guess what I'm doing while I'm trying to set this up? I'll just leave it right here as it is. Let me know if it's still going, because it keeps dropping me, and if it does, I'll try one more time. Otherwise, I'll just turn this into a video for later or something. Okay, it's still going, right? And I can't even get the the thing turned around. So remember when you told me to do some stained glass nails? That's what I'm doing today, girl, stained glass nails. So look, I have two that I already did. And I was trying to decide on a design and just do two fingers while we're talking and chatting today. If you have any suggestions for design, let me know the first two the pinky and the ring finger are oh i meant to go in here with base coat first i'm always letting myself get distracted yes thank glass nails girl you should see the first two they so cute but i ain't gonna show them until all of them all four are done <laughs> so if you have any ideas um i didn't want to copy what emily Susanna had done I try to respect that, so I did a couple of different designs, and they came out so cute. I will tell you, though, that the first two nails are Japanese-themed. But anything that you come up with, because this is just for me to do this in chat, we'll do that. I was going to do a French on here and put a heart. I think she did do a heart, but hearts are something that everybody does. Okay, uh, a star. Okay, I'll do a heart, a star. We got some good weather today. It's been mild. Well, not mild, but it's been like in the 70s. and It's like that perfect weather. And I was outside a little while ago enjoying it. Okay, I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. I tried to rotate the camera, but it didn't work. So have you been doing your nails a lot? Yeah, I think I'm going to do a uh, French on that middle finger. Same here. I was happy. I could be comfortable and happy with girl. Tell me about it. Okay, so I'm going to do a French on that middle finger. I'm, a, um, I'm trying to get some polish out so I could create a line for it first. This is a McCart uh, Fine Nail Art Pen. And I'm hoping I'm staying in the frame because I know it's turned differently this time. Super fine. So I took this one out for it, but I have been using some of my other brushes real quick. So I'm going to do this French line real quick. Oh, I got the other nail covered up so I can't see if I'm matching it, but that's okay. I'll just do my best. You try, you... You need to take off the set you have on and let your natural nails while your thumb heals. What's wrong with your thumb? Oh, you did? I finally got back on Instagram last night. Last night or was it the day before? I know what I'm going to do to make this easy. Watch this. I'm going to polish the whole nail bed on. And then I'll just clean it. I 
I'll clean it into shape. <laughs> so give me a second while I'm looking away. And bam. And even if it's not perfect, I'm going to go around it with the black anyway. Yep, I was like, I hope Je Jessica's not working and she's at home and she could catch it because I'm doing the stained glass nails. In fact, I have a, a stained glass acrylic set. For Thursday. So this week is going to be about the glass nails, honey. So how much of me tussling with the camera was on video? I wonder how much I'm going to have to cut out when this uh, gets, what do they call it? I just be posting videos. I don't be knowing all that technical stuff. It's like they do a, a review of the video. Hey, Q, how you doing? I think I remember you saying that about your nail. I'm in the nail lamp. So I'm doing stained glass nails today, Q. I don't know if you've seen her or if you've watched it, but Emily Susanna had did a set of stained glass nails. And um, Jessica, who's in the chat right now, Gemini Fly, during, I think, the last live or two, she has said, do some stained glass nails. And then I was saying Emily Susanna had done some, and we both started talking because... We realized we both saw it, so I decided to do stained glass nails today at her request. I have to do some videos like this because that editing is, woo. <laughs> this way I don't have to edit. Except for the beginning when I'm fumbling around. Okay, so that's the extended nail bed. Girl, annoying. Although, you know what? And I'm in the lamp. That's why my hand is gone. Um, With this temporary application I'm using, cutting, like splicing and putting together is much easier. It goes easier and smoother. But there's just like little tiny things that if you accidentally click at the wrong moment it just does stuff yeah that finger sounds very painful okay so q i'm doing an extended nail bed and my problem is I have two fingers already done. I was just going to do two so that this isn't extremely long. And <laughs> this one is a, a extended nail bed, a French cut. And I can't match them up. So if the shapes are different, that's my disclaimer for today. <laughs> How old is he now? I remember seeing the pictures of the puppy. He's a big boy. That's not, he wasn't a puppy when he was a puppy. <laughs> Wait, let me turn this down because this here in myself playback. Is it blurry or is it because I, ca I can't, I've been trying to turn it and, you know, it just won't. Sometimes that auto turn on the thing won't do it. 
So extended nail bed here. Girl, if I could have, if I could see on the TV, that would be, oh, with my old lady self. Okay, so that didn't come out bad. Actually, it looks pretty good shape-wise. My only problem is whether or not it matches the other shape. Oh, you're watching on your 70 to 75 pounds, girl. That's how my adult dog weighs. Yeah, he's going to get bigger. Is he all black? Or was he a dark brown? Okay, so I'm going to cure this so I don't mess it up for 30 seconds. That's looking pretty good. It keeps telling me to rotate the device, but I don't know how to do it. Sorry, guys. He's all black. Yeah, I, I thought I remembered him being black. No, he was a Rottweiler. I have two pit bulls. Okay, so Q, these two, uh, I was asking for suggestions. And Jessica said a star. These two have like Japanese themes. And I'm not going to uncover them until I get done with these. And um, I left these two open for suggestions. Jessica suggested a star. Oh, he's a lab? Full bread, too. He's gorgeous. So I, I'm going to put a star on this one. If, if you want to come up with an idea... For this nail, I have some ideas. I got some pictures pulled up for inspiration. But if you come up with an idea for this nail, let me know. Okay, so a star. Let me see if I turn my hand this way. That's better, right? I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay, I'm going to leave it just like that. Now, what color do you want the star? Okay. That'll be a, a TikTok, won't it? I was so I was so tripping on myself in the last one. I was like, they sat there, let me say tic tac. I kept saying tic tac. See, that's what I had. I had a lab pick mix. He was he was black. Huh. Chrome or purple, of course. Okay. You know what? I was going to do a chrome heart, so I'll put a star here and a heart there. Now, let me see if I can do a star without the points looking crazy. I'm going to stand up. So if my sound sounds different. Okay. How does it go? It goes like this, right? Oh, and then across. Oh, I turned my hand. 
which was what I was trying to avoid doing. Give me a second, guys, because I'm actually standing up away from the camera. Oh, I took that section away. No, that's not going to do it. The pain of doing nail art. <laughs> The heart's going to be chrome. It, it's funny that you said chrome and then you said purple because do I have this chrome heart that I got inspiration from? And it's got like tones of fuchsia pink purple in it. I'll do something similar. Okay, let me start that over. Sorry. I was a little kind of uh, rushed today because I was out. And then I looked at the time. I was like, I got to go home and get on. Uh, I got to do this post today. I've been trying to stay consistent and disciplined. All right. Now, you guys are seeing it, but for me, it's upside down. Uh, okay, now let me try to do this without taking that, the top triangle away. Here we go. Okay, I got to have a little bit of angle here, otherwise it's uncomfortable. Because your little man, uh, you want to do a lie, sis, but I'm kind of not going to because my little man will need to eat. And I just don't want to. You don't want it to be way, way too long. Why would it be way too long? I got to clean that up. Girl, I've been on here. What, how long have my lives been? Like the one. Uh, it was like a, uh, they've been most of them been about an hour. I had like an hour or more. And then I had that one was like 30 some minutes. But speaking from a content creator point of view, lives can be like, what am I trying to say? When it comes to watch time, not all lives get a lot of views, uh, for, you know, length time wise. I could be wrong. A part one and a part two. <laughs> or do like this. Do just the two nails. Do two, you know, do two demo nails. Am I still in frame? Okay, I ain't going to try to reach perf absolute perfection because stained glass isn't about totally perfect lines.
I don't know. I, I'm not sure how well, how much like viewership lives get. Okay, I'm trying to connect this down to here. I wanted to do a solid star. See, the problem is I didn't want those lines in there. I wanted to do one solid. But that would take too much erasing of the lines on the middle. So I'll just color those in. It'll just be, it'll just be much more color to it. I think that star looks good. What do you think? is good or I could even leave that section like a point of it black let me get this carrot yeah I think that looks decent going in the lamp yeah, just do like, you know, a demo nail or two, just like I covered these two up, and then um, I'm just doing these two. I just wish that the, the camera was rotated. I've only run into this problem like once before, where I ended up having to do this with the camera in this direction where it wouldn't turn for me. Usually it turns with no problem. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the heart. And for the heart, the heart, I'm going to use this Born Pretty Chrome Gel in silver. And it's funny because lives never go the way you plan it. So far, all the lives that I the lives that I've done, I mean, they went well. Don't get me wrong, you know, I accomplished what I wanted to, but I really wish that I could do them a little better. Okay, so chrome gel, and I'm just going to, I'm gonna do it in this area to cover up the. Well, that's not going to look right because everything else is towards the bottom of the nail. They sent you a liner brush that's so thin it's perfect. I was showing this McCart. Oh, no, I'm sorry. My bad. I'm my bad, Born Pretty. I said McCart because of the color. I have a white brush like this, but it's actually, I remember now, it came with Born Pretty. And it may not look like it by camera, but this is pretty fine, too. Is that the brush you're talking about? Were you talking about Born Pretty? So here's the chrome heart. Oh, that is the brush. Yeah, it's a nice brush. Okay, let me do this part at an angle. That came out pretty good. You guys should see me how I'm standing over here.
And nail art takes time anyway. I think that's pretty decent. Let me kind of make this part more. Oh, that's not the brush. Let me kind of make this part more pronounced. Take that in just a little bit like that. And I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds. I'm sorry I'm shaking you guys. Let me stop leaning on the table. I was saying like the only thing with uh with me doing this this way is I don't like the way it looks. Okay, so the inspiration picture for this heart, I'm going to fill in the star too. Get started with that. So let me just lay some of these colors. The inspiration picture for the heart was chrome. And it had like leaf patterns on the inside of the heart. And the leaf patterns was filled in with color. And it was so cute. So she had like put colors around her palette like this. Wait till you see the first two nails too. She put them in a big circle. So I'm basically doing what she did. <laughs> oh, you guys can't even see it because of the camera rotation. Oh, this really sucks today. But I'm happy about the nail design. Bummer. I'll show you guys the palette after I load it. Man, I got everything set up all nice and neat. That's a drag. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, look at this blue. I am so in love. Like... Look at this blue. I got it in one of the nails. I got it on the pinky. <laughs> you feel like a kid. You can't wait. <laughs> is the baby is the baby up or sleeping? Okay, so before I get started filling in the color, I am going to just add some wispy lines into the heart so I can add these colors. Or, yeah, you know what? I'm going to add the color first and then the chrome on top of it because sometimes the color could go over it by mistake. And let me throw some... Let me show you guys the palette of colors. These are all jelly colors. Some of them are, and you know what's funny? I had gotten those Venalisa jelly polishes and have not even done anything with them yet. So this also gave me reason to do something with those polishes. So thank you, Jessica. It really, I'm going to put them here so that they could be in the camera so all those are jelly polishes these first one two three four five are i think i said venalisa it's not venalisa these are um valentino and then mccart so one, two, three, four are Valentino, and then this one, and those two are McCart. I'm just going to finish off a couple of more lines with this star. And 
and they're gonna go Oh, he's going to be up soon to eat. Almost like he sh the star is shooting in. And I don't want all the background to be like this. So I'm just going to kind of leave some just to add a whole amount of color. I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds. And you know what? Like I'm using the jelly polishes, but I also have seen, and I kind of figured it anyway, you can use alcohol inks to do stained glass too. Okay, so from here, it's all about just coloring in. And I'm just gonna use this same brush, clean it off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, uh, I saw where some alcohol inks were used, and I was like, yeah, I kind of thought about that. With alcohol inks, though, the colors you would probably have to do, like, depending on how you want it, you would have to do more of them. One, I was going to say coat, but, you know, do it more than one time. Because some of these even don't come through very pronounced. Am I in frame? And I think they're going to come out so cute. This is the fun part. It's just about coloring in. And because the lines are there to separate the colors, I'm just going to keep going in. I'll keep this blue. I'll keep the blue theme going right here. That's cute. And let me just make sure I'm getting over on edge. Jessica, what colors do you want me to put inside the star? I will follow your request. I'm just going to go ahead and paint that blue too. And then put some light blue right here. I don't have my music going today, but then I don't think it's very audible anyway. Okay, so I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds. <clears throat> That pink and yellow is cute. Okay. <laughs> you can't wait to see the full set. <clears throat> I tried to get on here like, I want to say about four or five times. And every time I kept getting to the part where it say rotate the camera, I was trying to turn 
I was trying to turn it and it still wouldn't rotate. And then I was thinking I was live and I was just sitting here talking to you guys and it wasn't even going. <laughs> okay, so this is like the highlighter yellow. Yellow. And this is the neon pink. And that's kind of like a pinkish orange. But you know what? The colors are going to be so light. I'm going to put this in the middle. Yeah, perfect. Perfect for the middle. And then I'll just do each leg of the star and alternate. Boom, de -de boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Y'all was like, Jessica, I hope you come, girl. I'm doing stained glass. Cute, cute, cutie, cute. I like it because it gets so colorful. And these colors kind of are similar. And I think I'm going to leave this very light the way it is. I think that would be cute if there was a little shimmer in it. Oh, it's coming out nice. You said you feel... Wait a minute. I can't see that from over here while I'm in the lamp. Oh, you feel so antsy waiting on the final look? It's turning out nice. Thank you. And then I'm thinking... I'm going to put this in there. I'm just going to fill it in. It comes out so light, though, but that's okay. I'm out of frame. So, so cute. Yeah, I think that's nice. I'm going to leave it light like that, too. Just give it some kind of contrast. I might just do one, you know, one more coat of it just to, that it would be recognizable as purple, but I'm liking the light color of it. I'm just trying to spread it even. So this one is close to being done. Oop, I touched the pink, but see, it doesn't even show through. It's so light. I'm going to cure that and put one small amount on it. I'm looking at it in the camera because there's a delay, and it does look nice with just leaving it a little bit like that. Purple time. It is purple time. Do me a big favor. Come around here over there on that shelf. On the black shelf underneath, I think I have a darker purple. Look, right, right there, the top part of the black shelf, way on the left. Go inside, go inside. No. Yes, that top, the top one. Go all the way to the left, all the way to the left, the bigger bottles. Yeah, I think I got a darker purple over there because the next nail is going to be purple. No, get all of them. I want to, I want to see. I think I I think I did use a dark or purple unless I did like three coats of this on one of these other nails. Yeah, I'm liking it. That's my brother. My son ain't here to comment read for me today. I'm gonna bring this closer so you can see it too. I like the tint. <gasps> I like that it looks like tint. 
I think that's cute that it looks like tent. And it, it makes the stars stand out since the one part is darkened in. Aww. Okay, I'm going to cure that. Because what I want it to do is I want to, inside the heart, make it almost like a ombre. <clears throat> okay. Here you go, Q. Let me see. No, not the small bottles. I don't need these. Those are opaques. I'm thinking this may be a different purple. I think I got what I was looking for. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it right there. Okay, so... I am going to take a little bit of this purple, start out at the top of the heart. Take a little bit of this pink. Just work it in to mix it. And then take some purple. And it's easy not to go over these lines because I got that purple on there. I mean that chrome on there kind of thick. And maybe it's kind of hard to see. And then I'm just going to kind of like start blending. Let me stop. I got to turn my hand for a second. Okay, I am definitely going to do this a second time. Curing for 30 seconds. I should have just flash cured. That's what I should have been doing. Yes, Hante. Oh, you know what we were watching last night? Have you guys ever seen, what was the name of that movie? Medea uh, on the Run. I think it's Medea on the Run. It's actually a, a live stage play. You know, they used to do that here in Chicago. That started out here in Chicago. And I always wanted to go to them and never did. No particular reason why. I just hadn't had the opportunity to see it, you know, live and on stage. If you haven't seen that, you guys got to you gotta see that. Medea on the Run. It's a live stage play, which... Like I was saying, most of his, his did start out like that. His work started out that way. And I'm going to cure that. And, um, wow, like, are the, uh, is the cast in that so talented? The singing, the singing in that was off the chain. You, um, it's on, it's on, um, uh, DVD. We watched it on DVD or not DVD or DVD here at home. But you know, I'm old. So we talking DVDs. They, <laughs> they got stuff out now where you can watch it on. What is it? Hulu, Voodoo, Me Do, You Do, whatever it is. I don't know. No, I don't even know nothing about that stuff, y'all. I just learn what I learned to get this stuff done, and it takes me a long time to learn it. I managed to learn it, and that's it. 
The class reunion, which one is that? I don't think I've seen that one. And girl, why are we calling her her as if it's a real her? <laughs> and it was so hilarious in this play because um, he kept changing his voice, you know, Yeah, we call her her. her. But I, I guess he's brought that character to life so well. Right? That's what it is. The fact that he's brought that character to life. Not because I'm having to work around stuff. This ain't going to come out exactly all that perfect, but it looks nice. I know I'm not talking because I'm focusing. Okay, so yeah, uh, that play was real good, but the singing in it, woo, 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 the sinking, the sinking. Yeah, the extra lines. I couldn't think of nothing else, so I said, let me do an outline and just add different colors. Okay, I'm going to cure that. And then we're going to add the colors and we're going to be done. I'm going to add some more of that purple. Yeah, that's a good one. We have it on DVD. We actually, um, we got it at Walmart. Like every now and then when I go to Walmart, I'll stop at the little sales bins. And see what's in there. And we get movies out of that. I've been collecting movies. 
I know you can watch stuff on different forms of, uh, what is it, like uh, internet services or Wi-Fi or whatever, but I have been collecting movies so that in case of a power, like, uh, service outage, we have something we can still watch. I have been, like, emergency prepping. Or what people call sometimes, some people call it doomsday prepping. You know, I'm shaking because I'm standing up and I'm trying to work around where the camera is. And I do shake. I shake. Okay. What color is Q? While I touch up this chrome... What colors for the for the heart throb? You know what? I'm gonna leave the inside as is. I was going to do stuff on the inside, but I like the way the ombre turned out in there. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm just trying to add some thickness and make that line a little more. You want to see that orange pink color? Okay. Or so you want the orangey pink, dark blue, orangey pink, dark blue, or, you know, alternate like that. What's with the orange and blue? Wait a minute, where are you at? What teams play that wear orange and blue in Texas? Is that what it is, orange and blue? It is a team thing? <laughs> you said, yes, ma'am. What team is it? Uh, I don't... The Texas, Texas Long, Texas Longhorn. Are you in Texas? No, you ain't even in Texas. Why am I even saying Texas? <laughs> then I said Texas Longhorns. <laughs> You said you don't know either, Jessica. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, so this. Go in with the orangey pink. Bam. And girl, don't you start that. She thinks she's hearing something outside. She about to snap. Oh, I like the way that's coming out, Q. I'm sorry I had to get back sideways. Now you see why, Jessica, and I already knew, too, when I was watching her video, when uh, Emily Susanna was saying that it took her a long time, because this isn't really hard. It's just time-consuming. Just getting everything filled in. Oh, okay, Q, and tell me which blue. The dark blue, did you, oh, you said, let me look back. You did say dark blue. She was saying that it was time consuming. And one thing, too, she also did off camera when she was done that she explained. She went back over the black, even though I'm not going to do that today to make the black look more pronounced. So if if you guys are ever, and... It is easier to do these as press-ons because, you know, you'll be able to turn the nails however you want to, to add any artwork that you want to. So this is easier to do as press-ons 
When I did the other two, I did them as press-ons. I put them on the stand, and then I put them on. I did them like she did them. Doing nail art on yourself can be quite difficult. I know you in Georgia. I don't even know why I said Texas. I have no idea why I said Texas. I told y'all, y'all got to charge it to my age. My mind be racing. You see, I was saying yes to the alternate. I got you, girl. Girl, I got you now. I got you. So, yeah, she finished it off by um, touching up the black more. So, I know her nails took a while. It's more pink, though, cute. It still came out so cute. It's cute. This is cute. I don't know how well you can see the chrome. I like it so nice. And this is going to be, I'm going to do blue at the tip. And then I'm going to cure this, and then you guys are going to see the other two nails. The other two nails. Okay, going in the lamp. Actually, I'm touching up a couple of spots I noticed. <clears throat> I didn't expect this to be no whole hour, but then it's 59 minutes in. But then when I think about it, I'm like, oh, yeah, well, you know, detail work does take time. So are you guys ready to see these other fingers? Yes, we are. Okay, so here are the two nails. And I can move this out the way now. They're cute. They are so cute. Those are your nails. And this is where I'll do the top coat. I'm just going to cut away the glove because I haven't top coated these yet. And I don't want them to stick. My hands have been sweaty. My hands are sweaty. Okay, here we go. Let me move this out the way. And these are the nails, guys. So on the pinky, it's uh, the yellow in there for the sun with blue skies. And then 
I put a few clouds in there. You can barely see them. Oh, am I too close? I put a few clouds in there. You can see them a little bit. And then the Naruto flower. I didn't put a face in it. I could have. But then, and then there's Hello Kitty. And she's got uh, crystals for her bow. And she's got chrome polka dot. And then your star. And then your heart. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> you said the nails are meant for you. Yeah, I was like, wait till Jessica sees. Wait till she sees. So I was going to do whatever anybody requested for those other two nails. So I'm going to top coat these real quick. They'll look, they should look a little different with some top coat on them. And I decided, last time I used Mia Secret, didn't I? I don't know. Actually, you know what? I've been recording so much, I don't forgot what top coat I used on what set. So this is the Venalisa tempered top coat. This was one of them that was in the Battle of the Top Coats. So I'm going to put this on here. And when you do these stained glass, if you decide to do them, because... Sometimes the outline of the black can be, uh, what is it I'm trying to say, you know, raised above surface. So it's going to have like that 3D kind of like that stick out type texture to it. You could even go over this with a builder base. <clears throat> Something, some type of a builder base to, to level out that surface and make it smooth if that bothers you. Sometimes it doesn't bother me though. Excuse me. So that's a suggestion. Let me kind of work this in around the bow. Get it all up in there. She's so cute. I love them, and then I'll have to wait until I have some good light, and then I'll do a reveal shot, and some really, really good light. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here, Jessica. I'm really glad that you were here since you requested, since you suggested this. Really, really glad, and I'm so happy that you were here so that I could do your, you know, take your request. Look at that come through. Look at that star and that heart come through with this top coat. Oh, let me cure this. Oh, they are so cute. I'm curing them, guys. Already, that has to cure. I forgot to switch to 60, so. Yeah. Oh, the bow, yeah. I was like, hmm, do I want to do a regular bow? Do I want to do bling? And I was like, you know what? I got a little bit of something, something I could throw on here for a bow. Because uh, I was actually going to do a bow. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Let me get up so I could stand up and turn around. I know I didn't do the thumb. Look at these guys. I should have had my sleeve on. They are so cute. Oh my gosh. I love them. Um, I love them. I may go over them a little more for the, for, and I'll probably do a community post. You guys know I'll probably do something like that. 
but um, I love the way they turned out. So cute. Well, I really appreciate you. Oh, thank you, Q. Yeah, they are tied into the kawaii theme, right? Yeah, girl. Honto ni kawaii desu ne. Watashi wa totemo suki. So yeah, those are the nails. I could have did this darker so the clouds will show through. Those are clouds, but it's all good. I love them. Well, thank you so much for being here, ladies. I really, really appreciate you. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed your company today. And the nails came out so pretty and cute. And I'm all oh, thank you for suggesting your themes for each nail. I'm so glad we did that. It was so much fun. And you guys have a wonderful and blessed evening. I know, right? You don't know what I said. I said I like them very much. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful and blessed evening. Kiss the baby for me. Pet the, pet the puppy for me. Because I love me some puppies. I love dogs. I love dogs. And I'll see you guys next time. Much love. They came out so 